Like and subscribe right now, or you're going to have terrible luck for the next week. Ever wondered what would happen if you died? What if I told you that there are animals that can live after death? You might think this is a joke, but it's actually true and we're going to go through some of them in this video. Number 10. Alligators. Alligators are scary creatures, alive or dead. Even after they die, one should avoid them as they'll do to a living animal. When the temperature is cold, they appear to be dead, but that's not the case. They breathe using a unique trick. This state of living is called brumation. It's a condition where the alligator's metabolism is slowed down. This means that the animal lives without food for several months. They don't need food during the period because they're not burning a lot of energy. They stick their snout in water to breathe while the rest of their body would freeze as if they're dead. Baby alligators who didn't know the trick to surviving during freezing temperatures would hit their snout on the ice severally to escape until they eventually drowned. When they learn the trick, they stay calm until the ice melts. They later retreat to shore and back in the sun before returning for a nap. Number 9. Cockroach Cockroaches would likely be the only survivors of a nuclear war. Thanks to their tenacity, these little bugs can live without their heads. In fact, they can go on for weeks without it. Understand that not many creatures can for minutes after decapitation, not even humans. When it happens on humans, they bleed a lot until they die. However, these little bugs don't have to worry about bleeding because they have an open circulatory system. This means that they do not suffer blood pressure. When her head is chopped off, their wound closes naturally because of clotting. While the human head holds an important part of her body like the brain, nose, eyes, etc., these bugs don't need their heads to breathe. They have tiny holes in their bodies that allow them to breathe. Cockroaches are also poikilotherms, meaning that they're cold-blooded and can survive for weeks without food. As long as a predator doesn't eat them, they'll sit quietly until they're infected by bacteria. Unfortunately, the headless cockroach will die from starvation because there's no mouth, and this would take weeks before that happens. Number 8. Bee A bee might be dead, but not so dead to be toyed with. By this, I mean that even though a bee might be dead, it can still sting you. Now, this doesn't mean that the insect's spirit hovers around the area, but its stinging lats and venom delivery system remains active long after the bee gives up on life. That is one determined bee. After a bee stings, the stinger detaches from the body but is embedded into the skin of its victim. There is a tiny organ attached to the stinger that contains the bee venom. This tiny muscle pumps the poison out, and due to the bee's physiology, these actions are not controlled by the insect's simple brain, but by the involuntary impulses. If you're allergic to bee stings, don't overlook the possibility of getting pricked by a dead one. It's not about the pain you'll experience, but the venom it comes with. Number 7. Chicken If someone has told you to stop running around like a headless chicken and you didn't know what it means, well, you're lucky. Ask anyone that has ever killed a chicken and they'll tell you how they had to struggle with the animal for minutes after chopping its head off. The reason is nothing special other than a human error. A chicken's central nervous system is wired differently from that of humans. Some of its bodily functions are weirdly controlled by certain parts of the brainstem instead of the brain itself. This means that if you chop the chicken's head off, the chances are that you would only remove the forebrain, leaving the brainstem and cerebellum intact. Not only will the chicken continue to move, it continues to breathe. Like most animals that live after death, it dies of starvation weeks later. There's, however, a case of a headless chicken that survived for months without its head. I wonder what it got up to in that time. Number 6. Octopus The movies and clips you see on the internet where octopi continue to move even after their heads were chopped are not edited. In Asia, eating fresh octopus is an independent delicacy. But there are some downsides. It's not the animal itself that survives after it's dead, but it's eight wily arms that continue to move around. These extensions can get stuck in one's throat and cause one to have a bad day. The reason the arms remain mobile after decapitation is quite fascinating. This is because two out of three of their nervous systems are not found in the brain where they're expected to be, but in their tentacles. These arms continue to react to stimuli even after they've been disconnected from the main brain. 
Even when the animal is long dead and the arms severed, they're still active. Researchers at the George University in London conducted an experiment where this animal's arm was euthanized and kept in chilled water for an hour. When the scientists pinched it, they curled in response to the stimulus. Number 5. Salamander The salamander is one animal that is constantly mentioned when it comes to life after death. This animal is synonymous with immortality and long life. Magicians consider the ability of the animal to regenerate its body as panoramic. Salamanders are blessed with the ability to regrow any part of their body that has been chopped off. The best part of it all is that the regrown parts function the same way as the old ones. Some scientists even argue that they perform better. Salamanders can achieve this feat because of a special protein found in them that facilitates the replication of cells. Although these cells are also found in humans, they are seen in smaller quantities. This is the reason your wound can heal after a few days depending on the severity. Unfortunately, if one's hand is amputated, it's gone forever because it can never regrow. Scientists are studying how these unique abilities from salamanders can benefit humans in the future. Number 4. Frogs Even when a frog's brain is missing, it continues to move around. This used to be the speculation until scientists experimented with it. They discovered that some headless animals moved around impressively on their own and wanted to know about this unusual ability. It was obvious that the creature could do much more without its head. Out of curiosity, scientists got to work and removed the frog's brain but left the body intact to see what would happen. After the experiment, they found that a headed but brainless frog behaved similarly to a frog with its brain matter intact. Even when you turn this seemingly headless frog upside down, it turns itself back up and moves on with life. Some frog species like the wood frog can freeze during frigid weather, yet don't die. Although ice crystals form in their bladder and body cavity under the skin, a high glucose concentration in their organs prevent them from freezing. Number 3. Flies Flies survive freezing temperatures. They may appear dead initially, but when the weather becomes favorable for them, they're back on their feet. Unlike water that freezes during winter, this insect produces antifreeze with glycol into its cells. They spend most of their winter in diapause, a hibernation-like state of reduced metabolic activity. After spending time in crannies, they wake up during spring to lay their eggs on decaying matter. The ability to survive frigid temperatures is not what makes them unique, but there is much more. Female flies are known to live for several days after decapitation and they can engage in reflex actions like walking and flying under duress. There's not much difference between normal and headless flies. They're still annoying as hell. Number 2. Snake <laughs> You may think that chopping a snake's head off is the best thing to do to avoid being bitten, but this may not be the best choice for you. A snake's head still contains its fangs and deadly poisons that can still bite and deliver a powerful venom even after it's been mutilated. Snakes detect heat signature with their head, and if you're close enough to that part, it can still deliver the same quality of bite as it would if it were whole. This heat-sensitive part is capable of detecting a threat for hours after death, meaning that it can defend itself from external aggression even in death. And yes, the rest of its body can do whatever it wants, but the head remains the lead. Post-mortem movements are fueled by electrically charged particles that remain in the animal's nerve cells. When it's stimulated, the channels open up and allow ions to pass through. This creates an electrical impulse that allows the muscle to carry out reflexive actions like a bite. Now it's time for today's best pick. If you consider flatworms a nuisance, I'm sorry. You need to deal with the fact that they can't die, and your decapitation helps them to multiply. Number 1. Flatworm you probably learned in your basic science classes that if you cut an earthworm into two, both parts would reproduce. While this may not be entirely true, when compared to the theory of flatworms, the results are disturbing. Like salamanders, flatworms can rebuild any part of their body after amputation. If one is cut in half, the head area grows a tail and the tail area a head. Even if you chop it into 30 pieces, 30 new worms are created, and they're the perfect replica of the original. This has caused scientists to exploit these worms as they have created a colony of more than 20,000 worms. They're confident that the species will live forever unless they contract an infection or illness. 
Flatworms have a simple brain or a concentration of nerve cells in their head. This allows the regeneration of stem cells found in the body. In contrast, an earthworm would die if cut into two. Telomeres are responsible for this animal's immortality. They're usually shorter with time and stop cells from renewing and dividing. But in flatworms, they remain intact and allow the cells to divide as many times as possible. There you have it. These 10 animals can live after death. Have you been bitten by a dead animal? Please head to the comment section and tell us. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel to stay updated with our latest content. Until another scintillating episode, adios.